What's going on? Welcome, it's your boy Nakat, and today I am here to talk about the much anticipated perks tier list that you guys have been requesting over and over and over when I stream. I got my chat over there. They're going to be yelling at me if they disagree, and they're going to be, I don't know. What do you guys do when you agree? You guys can let them know in the chat. But yeah, so essentially I'm going to be going over what perks are a must-have, what perks are the strongest right now. Uh, maybe in the future I can do like a tier list catered to specific characters, you know what I mean? Like, these are the perks you run on Wonder Woman. These are the perks you run on Bugs Bunny. You guys will have to let me know if you're interested in that in the comment section below. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. So, off rip, one of the perks that I think is a must-have currently for most of the characters in the game is Triple Jump. Your team receives an extra jump after hitting an enemy while in the air, but of course, when stacked, always have an extra jump if your ally also selects this perk. So, why this is so good is because with this, you are literally able to always have a way to extend combos or of course, if you're in a dire position and you need to get out of it, you can always have an extra jump to relieve that pressure in disadvantaged state. So in my opinion, triple jump is excellent. Extends combos, helps you out in tough spots. I really don't see why there's no reason to have it unless your character just does not have the ability to kill vertically or you already have busted busted uh ways of getting out of disadvantage state i'm looking at bugs bunny of course but they run triple jump anyway because why not it's a must have and it's one of those must have perks i feel you know how some certain perks like in the last build how it was basically ignite gray health ice that were just running everything and projectile meta was so prevalent those are perks that over centralize the meta and make it toxic you know Whereas a perk like this is just utility based. It's a good perk. It's a very good perk. And even though a lot of people run it, it's not something that's going to, I want to say, really make the game toxic or anything. In fact, it opens even more creative expression. So I think it's a very healthy perk to have, especially with how good it is. Up next, I'm going to have, let me look at this beautiful list of perks. You got back to back. Your team receives 6% reduced damage when near an ally. So my issue with this perk, honestly, and if you stack it, it's 12%, is that you need to be near an ally for that to happen. So this is pretty optional, right? If you're a team that pretty much you say, yo, you go fight, I'm going to zone from afar and back you up. That's a lot of time spent not next to each other versus when you have a partner and you guys aren't zoners and you guys effectively combo characters together, that's when I start to think, okay, that is a fire perk to have because of like your team receives 6% 6 6 reduced damage when near an ally. It's just like, okay, if we're getting body bag together, right? We're getting combo together, then eh, all right, we'll take less damage. That's cool. So to me, it's optional, not too much of a necessity in my opinion. I don't think it really affects the outcome of a game too much. It's just like, I. Right. I think CoffeeZilla is pretty good, especially when stacked. 15% reduction if your ally also selects this perk. So if you have really good abilities, but the cooldown is massively long, I do think that this is really good to have because any reduction is reduction. And sometimes you getting your ability back when you need it immediately is the difference between winning a match and taking that L gracefully. So I think CoffeeZilla is pretty dope. Kryptonian Skin. Your team receives 4% reduced incoming damage. It's 6% if you are pretty much you know stacked let me see uh, i also think this is optional if you are a player that gets hit a lot i could see why you would probably take this but at the same time i just don't think it's like super duper strong or a super necessity whatsoever school me once your team receives a projectile block buff for two seconds after being knocked back by a projectile. Four seconds. I think this is a strong perk, especially when stacked, because as you know, characters like Velma, Rain Dog, they're going to be throwing stuff at you constantly. If you're playing Tom and Jerry, or versus a Tom and Jerry, rather, you're going to have people throwing stuff at you constantly. I think this is a great perk specifically to counter certain compositions. And I sometimes take it depending on who I'm fighting, because let's face it. If I'm fighting a character that I know loves to not interact and run away and throw stuff, I want that shield so I can actually catch them, close the gap, and body them. So I do think it's a really strong perk. It's just very dependent. It's not like a triple jump where I'm like, yo, everybody should take this. But, as you can see, it has its use. Snowball effect. 
Your team deals 7% increased damage against the fighter with the highest damage. 15% increased damage if stacked. I like this perk a lot. Me and Void actually run it quite a bit. That increased damage adds up when stacked. That 15% increased damage, it makes it so that like your, your kill windows open up a lot faster. Uh, especially teams that are able to combo off each other straight up. I think if you have good combo game and like you're good with your teammate in terms of synergy, this is definitely a good perk to have because you will snowball the shit out of somebody. <laughs> oh, you got the highest damage? Bring that ass over here. Get body. Stronger than ever. Your team receives armor for five seconds after respawning. Uh, I think this is optional. So receiving armor for five seconds after respawning is really good. Seven seconds when stacked. However, with how fast this game is, uh, a lot of the time, if you have this perk, all it takes is for the opponents to know this and just not interact. Literally run away from you and burn the time until it's gone. And a lot of characters are fast enough to actually avoid people when necessary. So my opinion, I think, uh, it's like, it's kind of eh. Actually, I would put it in meh. Yeah, I put it in meh. Your team receives 15% increased base knockback influence. Void and I were using this and we were surviving shit. Stacked, by the way, so 25%. We were surviving shit that we just were certain, yo, we're dead. We're dead. I actually think still right now that this is a sleeper perk. I think a lot of people don't actually recognize just how much that is. So I actually do believe in this perk being really strong. The purest of motivations. Your team deals 15% increased damage for 10 seconds after an ally is rung out. 15 seconds if stacked. Definitely think optional. Once an enemy is rung out, I think this is like a skill-based perk. If you're really good, then you can pretty much chain someone down, even if they're trying to get away from you. Uh, but like, they're going to spawn center stage, so you have to go there, chase them. It's just like, oh, okay, are you good at catching them? Yeah. No? Okay, then don't use this. Collateral damage. Your team deals one additional damage when knocked back. Uh, enemies collide with a wall or floor. Ah, man. <laughs> I don't see why I would ever use that. Make it rain, dog really strong i think this is a must-have if your team is like super fixated on zoning i think it's really good but because it's still optional because not every perk has projectiles i just think it's a really strong perk overall look at that 20 percent increased projectile speed 25 percent increased if stacked i only have lasso void has a plethora of projectiles of course i'm going to put that on to help him out i don't even care if i lose a slot that 25 percent makes it so that it's even more of a pain in the ass to get in on our team i'm going to stack that very character dependent brawn needs that i've been warning i've been running that on my brawn bro i've been running that on my brawn you see you see the vision fino come on now fancy footwork your team receives 5% increased dodge distance. 10% increased dodge distance if your ally also selects this perk. I think this is optional, for sure. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. I don't really feel like I need to like go too deep into that. I dodge, you dodge, we dodge. Your team receives a 10% ability cooldown refund after dodging an attack. 15% if your ally also selects this perk. What? I've never used that. I actually, this is my first time really reading that too. Hold on. This might be better than Coffeezilla because you dodge a lot in this game. Yo. I'm going to be looking into this. <laughs> Percus uh, percussive punch power. Your team deals 5% increased damage with attacks that knock back enemies horizontally. Oh, I, I think these are like... These uh, ones, like 10% uh, increased damage. So this is vertical. This is horizontal. I think these are actually really strong. I think they're solid. They're like solid go-to perks, especially like towards the early game where you can't really afford a lot of the perks. I think these are just pretty conventional good perks. Not too much to actually say about them. They pretty much speak for themselves on why they would be useful. Wildcat Brawler, your team deals 5% increased damage with melee attacks on the ground. I put this as optional because a lot of this game's combat is... Uh, aerial like you're in the air so because this is based off of being on the ground i think it's just an optional perk honestly it could even fall into meh it's my opinion 
Absorb and go. Your team receives a 7% ability cooldown refund after being knocked back by a projectile. <laughs> so 15% refund if you like. So against, I want to say it's optional because if you know you're not good at dodging and you're going to be getting hit a lot by projectiles, then sure, you can reward yourself for that. The issue is, is that you literally have to get punished to get the reward off of this perk. Feel me? You need to get hit. You need to take damage to get the reward. And that's where I have my issues with that perk. Boundless Energy. Your team receives 10% faster dodge and vulnerability recharge. 20%. That's optional. It's okay. Gravity Manipulation. Your team receives 10% increased fall speed. Oh, this is good. So I actually, it's an optional, but I think this is good. If you need to reset faster to the ground to get your resources back to start doing more damage and extending combos like straight up i think that's i think that's pretty useful honestly i think that's pretty useful but it's like more on the optional side of things retaliation ready your team grants allies three gray health for three seconds after knocking back enemies with projectiles for gray health when stacked it's funny because honestly uh this was one of the perks that was pretty much running shit last build so to see that it got knocked down so much is pretty cool i think it's definitely an optional pick i don't see it that much anymore but i think that it, this is a perk that you can't make too good because if you do everybody's going to use it and it's going to be the toxic kind of must have not the healthy kind of must have so let's just get that squared away real fast hit them while they're down your team deals five percent increased damage when hitting debuffed enemies ten percent increased stacked depends very optional. If you're if your team is focused on zoning, then of course, like they're gonna get hit by debuffs, especially if you're like fighting a Velma, right? She can debuff the hell out of you. Then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, let's run this because then I, we can do more damage. But other than that, it's just like, eh. Ice beats you. The same spiel, the same spiel as our retaliation ready. And then I'll even throw ignite up here as well because ice to beat you. Your team's projectile deals one stack of ice. Uh, they knock enemies back two stacks if it's uh, two, two of you have it. That's flammable dock. For three seconds after knocking back an enemy with a projectile, you can hit them with a melee attack to ignite them for one second. Two seconds of stack. So that doesn't do as much ignite damage anymore. They're just optional. They're not meh. They're just like, there's better perks. <laughs> there's better perks now. And I like that because those were really toxic before. Second wing beneath your wings. Your team refreshes air special attacks after ringing out an enemy. I don't think I see people use this too much, but when I do see it, I, I, I see them make good use of it. Personally, I can't see myself ever using it, but it is nice to get your resources back if you confirm a kill, meaning that you're able to go a lot deeper and risk a lot more, but you have to be certain that you're going to kill someone. Static electricity. After allies move on the ground for four seconds, their next projectile applies shocked uh, to enemies. Leaving the ground restarts the timer. Eh. Eh. Dead shot. Your team deals 5% increased damage with projectiles. I think this is pretty good, especially when stacked. Lumpy Space Punch. I'm a fan of Lumpy Space Punch because this focuses. So remember when I was like, okay, yeah, like while this cat brawler focuses on the ground, you deal five increased damage with melee attacks in the air temper percent increased damage when stacked i think that's actually pretty damn good painted target your team deals five percent increased damage when hitting enemies that are in hit stun so this is for y'all that are like combo gods i would see this being good 10 percent increased damage if your ally selects this perk the only issue is is that it's super focused more so on just essentially like we have to hit the target and have them in a long enough hit stun for this to even be worth it so optional Shirt Cannon Sniper, your team's projectiles deal 7% increased damage to faraway victims, 15% increased damage if your ally also selects this perk. Zoners, good for zoners, but I don't think it's anything too godlike. That's not all, folks. Ring, ringing out enemies while near the blast zone pushes the attacker back towards the center of the map. That's dope. You actually get like rewarded. So this is another one of those optional ones where if you're like one of those all or nothing players, you dead ass can just go far off, body bag, get rewarded for securing the bag, get sent back to the middle. You good. Don't worry. Aerial Acrobat. I think this is strong. 
Your team receives 10% increased air acceleration, 20% if stacked. You literally can chase people faster, like straight up. Armor Crush. Your team's fully charged ar attacks break armor. It's already hard enough to hit fully charged attacks in a game that's so fast. So it's just like, yeah, no, I don't think so. Even with the stack, it makes it 75% charge. I don't really see this being too practical for most of the player base because of that. Clear the air. Your team destroys enemy projectiles after successfully neutral dodging the projectile. Reflect the projectile if your ally also selects this perk. I think that's okay. I actually think that's okay. It destroys enemy projectiles after successfully... Oh, you have to neutral dodge it. You can't like forward dodge. You can't directional air dodge. Okay, nah, nah, that's optional. Hit me if you're able. Your team receives 5% increased dodge speed. 10% uh, uh, if stacked. Definitely optional. Uh, I'll take that. Your team receives a 0.5 second refund on ability cooldown after hitting debuffed enemies. Of course, again, this is like for zoners and shit. And a single bound. Your team receives 10% increased jump speed. 15% increased speed if your ally also selects this. I think this is very strong. Again, allows to chase way faster and maybe create some combo opportunities that weren't there before. Last stand, your team deals 10% increased damage after reaching 100 damage. 10 damage earlier if your ally selects this perk. Depends. If you're fighting tanky opponents, like especially tanks, then sure, maybe this will come in handy. But other than that, it's kind of eh. Leg Day Champ, increased jump height. That's very strong. 15% increased height if stacked. I think that's really good. <laughs> Slippery Customer, your team receives a 10% longer dodge in vulnerability. 15% longer window if your ally also selects this perk. I like that. That's a perk I wasn't too aware of. I actually like this a lot. Extended iframes, like, I think that's dope. Slippery when faint. Your team receives 10% increased dodge distance when dodging out of an attack hit cancel. Oh. Huh. Oh, definitely optional, but interesting. Speed force assist. Your team receives 4% increased base movement speed, 8% when stacked. I like this actually. I didn't know about this. They cut you see how it's like 4%, 8%? They could not make that 10% or 15%. They have if the, if you go a little too high with that, you start making certain characters really obnoxious. Sturdy Dodger, your team receives armor for one second after successfully. This is another one of those neutral dodges where uh, I think that just having to stay still or just jump, stay stationary and like neutral dodge is kind of eh. It would be much better if you could directional air dodge for this to work. Tune Elasticity, your team receives a 20% reduction to ground and wall bounce velocity. Uh, I think this is good against characters that will actually like straight up kill you. Like, say I'm Wonder Woman and I spike someone while they're in the ground, and of course that kills off the top. This might allow them to live a little bit longer. 25% reduction while stacked is also pretty good. I actually would put this in really strong. But yes, ideally, y'all, this is what I'm thinking when it comes to a tier list for perks. Didn't really expect to do this, to be real. But, of course, guys, let me know in the comment section, be uh, the comment section below what you think do you think any of these are must have do you think that i uh what would you change in this list as well in your opinion and of course again thank you so much for watching as always greatly appreciate it be sure to subscribe and follow me on all my socials road to 25k and we are damn near close and in the comment section let me know another video that you would like to see really appreciate it this is the cat take it easy peace out Deuces.